So I've not posted in a while because I've been working with Tees Valley Motorsport, which have been kind enough to provide this go-kart. Uh, you will have already seen this if you've been following me on Facebook and Instagram. I've been posting short clips of this over the last few months. Um, if you have been following on there, you will have noticed some key differences or similarities with the engine that we're using to power this go-kart. So today, I'm just going to introduce this go-kart, talk about the engine, and how it all works and how it's been put together. So let's crack to it. Okay then, so this is the GX160 or GX200 variant engine. It's the Honda clone that I've used in all the previous videos. So if you want to see how the base of this engine was put together, you can go and check that out in those videos. But uh, everything is pretty much the same, except now we're running a water methanol mix or just a pure water mix. We've got a stainless steel exhaust system and a new ignition system as well as increased compression and high lift valves uh, to deal with that, well, to try and gain that extra power that we need to power the go-kart. So uh, it started life originally as a generator engine. It's now been converted, completely rebuilt for a performance go-kart engine. This is the hydrogen storage cylinder, which is providing the gas for the engine. It's carbon fiber inside. Uh, it's not gonna be using the go-kart when we're running it. It's just, just for testing for now. I do have some carbon fiber cylinders that will be put on this go-kart. But for now, I'm using this for testing. It's a 300 bar cylinder, uh, which provides the pure hydrogen gas needed to run the engine. The fuel line is run towards the engine through a flashback arrestor here, which goes through the regulator. Again, you would have seen all this in the previous videos. I'm not gonna be going over them today. But this regulator provides the hydrogen gas to the carburetor um, and automatically switches off when the engine comes to a halt. Uh, here we have the water injection system, can also be used for water methanol to give the engine a bit more pep. And we obviously have a 12 volt battery supplying the CDI unit. So recently I've been working with Teesside Motorsport and what they're trying to do is bring hydrogen into the racing arena from converting petrol engines to run on hydrogen gas. So I've been helping them with that and in, by doing so they've provided this go-kart for me to convert over for them. It was a rolling chassis and I've bolted on the generator engine that you've seen me disassemble and rebuild for hydrogen so it's the same engine and that's why it's on this cart. And the aim is they're going to take it then to a racetrack and do some hot laps and see what we can get out of it. That's actually why I've not posted about the hydrogen powered uh, Renault Clio because they also have that and they're also going to be doing some tests and running it on a track and hopefully I'll have some videos coming of that soon. So in all, we have a hydrogen powered go-kart, it's on a rolling chassis, everything works in that department. We have the engine, hydrogen cylinder. So I'm going to take off this old hydrogen bottle now, connect a new hydrogen bottle up to it and fire it up. running 100% hydrogen. What I'm going to do now is add some water 
for the water injection, which will help cool that intake valve down. Because um, if I left this engine running for too long and just pure hydrogen, what will eventually happen is that that intake valve will get very hot and the exhaust valve and the combustion chamber as a whole. So adding water will reduce those combustion temperatures, cool the intake valve, stop reignition, and overall help the performance of the hydrogen engine. So let's chuck some water in and fire it up again. Okay, so it's the hydrogen engine running now with the pure water being injected in. Uh, as you can tell, the engine seemed to run a lot smoother there, especially when I got it up to operating temperature. And obviously we got some nice backfires as well. Okay then, so that's pretty much it. Gas cylinder, engine, car, all pretty much built and ready to go. So hopefully next time we see this or next time we do a proper video, it'll be actual load tests, either here or um, on a track. So uh, until then, cheerio.